why, why every time I sit down to film does Jesus, Mary, Joseph and the Three Musketeers come knocking at the door? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, some quick housekeeping on this Fave 5 series. Since I put up the previous videos, um, there were a lot of comments saying, oh, I can't believe you didn't include XYZ. This is not my favourite all-time products forever and ever, amen, since Jesus and the Donkeys. This is my favourite products of the month, the last couple of months, um, ones that I'm using. I tend to use product in like, like a binge. If it was booze, it would be binge drinking, but I binge use product. Um, so I will find something I like, use it all up and go, hmm, that was lovely. Do I need more or shall I move on? These are all ones where I would either buy more or wouldn't move on or I'm just really enjoying using them. So just to clear that up for starters, uh, this round there will be cleansing oils, retinols, SPFs, and then primer stroke, CCBB creams that have SPF value but also give you colour and make you look less dead. Um, so I'm going to kick off with cleansing oils. There are six, so apologies first of all, we've already blown the Fave Fives out the window. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're in varying um, price points. They go from, I would call mid-range, which I'm sort of thinking teens to twenties to thirties to 40s so I, actually I think I've without meaning to done something for every decade of money uh, let's start with uh, this one okay this is nude perfect cleanse oh before I forget I took on board some comments because with the last with the last batch of videos I literally just did it as a hi this would be a good idea here's some videos and these are the things I'm loving and you know it was fun and I enjoyed it but you wanted a little bit more detail without it becoming you know a thesis so I will remember to say things like skin types, what to avoid if, things like that. This is Nude Perfect Cleanse, clarifying cleansing oil. It looks like that. Nude have had a bit of a um, tumultuous few months. They disappeared from Sephora. Their PR disappeared. Um, and then it turned out that they had been bought. I can't remember who by. It'll come back to me. I think it's skin, I wanna say skin store. I think it's skin store. I'll put a link below to the news that nude have been sold. Um, so they are still around, which is good. LVMH have been them off and they've been bought by someone else. Um, in other good news, clarifying cleansing oil. This is a lovely oil. Now all of these, all of these, all of these can be used as a makeup remover or a second cleanse or a first cleanse in the morning. I like a good oil as we know. So I tend to not use these as makeup removers I tend to stick to my sort of time on a tradition of if they have really nice ingredients I want them on my face not down the drain within three seconds um this uh the, the, the clarifying cleansing oil rinses away da 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 I don't know why I bother trying to read it without the specs look at the size of that print have a word with yourself you can't even see it um this is suitable for all skin types but it's especially good if you are oily combination do not believe the old wives tale that oily skins cannot use oil it is not true end of discussion um, I actually don't mean that. Obviously, I'll discuss it in comments if you want me to. The new cleansing oil is one that does emulsify, so you can put it onto dry skin, you can rinse it off with a splash, or you can do it with a flannel or a face cloth. For those of you who keep asking me if I mean a shirt when I talk about flannel, no, I mean a face cloth. Um, really lovely, really nice to use. I tend to use this one in the morning. What's next? Oh, okay. This one I would never use to take off my makeup. So I think I have inadvertently done, sort of picked up a theme. This is Alpha H, liquid laser cleansing oil. It looks like this. Oh, and my manicure, by the way, is OPI Alpine Snow Gels, because a lot of you always ask. I will put it in the description box below, but it doesn't matter how many times I say I'll put it in the description box below. 400 billion T of you ask me, which is fine and lovely, but I just thought I'd tell you now. Uh, liquid laser cleansing oil with a white mulberry. This is for a skin that is slightly more dull, slightly more lacklustre. How rude. Um, that needs um, a bit of a boost, dull, dehydrated. So it does take off makeup. It does emulsify. I, however, like the brightening aspect of it. I tend to use this only in the mornings. So that's Alpha H. Can you see? Yes, you can see. Alpha H 
liquid laser cleansing oil not expensive you can get it on qvc and in the states you can get it in the states i'll put a link below i will find it obviously an aussie brand so yay the aussies you get that for way cheaper than we do and i know that doesn't happen often okay let's up it to this okay i have used this relentlessly and i'm not even halfway through it is newish to the uk it is sonia dakar buriti buriti purifying cleanser it looks like that you won't be able to see because the uh thing has moved up and in the way but never mind i love this cleanser now i will use this one to remove my makeup because you only need one or two pumps and it lasts forever um something all of these have in common is worth mentioning is that they are all obviously mineral oil free um the base of this is coconut oil I always do this, don't I? I sit there and read it, how rude. Um, paraben and sulfate free, oh, no artificial dyes or fragrances, no animal testing, yada, yada, yada. Um, I love, love, love this cleanser. I tend to use this in the evenings and I will happily double cleanse with this. It works, it does the trick, it is super gentle. All of these are extremely gentle, but this one, well, you can see by how much I've used. There we go. And I shall keep it with me and use it up. I've got three more. Um, this one I think you can get in the States. I think it is on sale. I want to say Anthropology. In the UK it is Liberty and somewhere else. Space and K, I think. Um, Votary Cleansing Oil. Now they have two. They have this one and they have the new Super Seed Oil. I still use this one a lot. This is my replacement. You can see this is full. I've done one of these, um, a full size of one of these already. Votary Cleansing Oil, again, not the cheapest. I would not use this to take off face powder in SPF. This is going on my face for a face massage. Um, Rose Geranium and Apricot, 100ml size. Lovely London-based company. Beautiful oil. Love it. There's really no need. There's really no need. The last two. The first one, um, the penultimate cleansing oil. I've used I first used 20 years ago before I discovered mineral oil wasn't my friend. Since then they have bought out two versions. It's an infamous cleanser. You'll know what I'm talking about when I say it's probably the first cleansing oil on the market. Um, they have two versions now that they do not contain mineral oil. This is Shu Mora Skin Purifying Cleansing Oil Ultimate. So this is Sublime Beauty Cleansing Oil. Now this is a limited edition, which I'm being honest, I picked up this pack because I liked it. Um, I got this one from Liberty. It looks like that, but it does normally come just in their normal packaging, with the, like the other oils. This one is for an older skin. Excuse me while I zoom to the eyebrow. This is for an older skin, um, and it is mineral oil free. Now it is not the skin friendliest mineral oil, um, it is not the skin friendliest cleansing oil on the market. It has perfume in it, um, it has shea butter in it, but it's in a liquid form, which is, is okay for me. Um, but this will destroy makeup. So this for me is a first cleanse. It's an evening cleanse. It's a please destroy all my makeup and all my SPF. Um, it is one of the originals. Yes, I have it in my collection. No, I don't use all of them. I only use the ones that are mineral oil free. Mineral oil, mineral oil free. And this is one of them. So this is if you're a slightly older um, skin. This is a whacking uh, 75 pounds, but it's a 450 mil size. I cannot, um, I cannot tell you, I cannot emphasize enough how long something like this lasts. You literally, it's one of one, two pumps max, and then two pumps is if you're wearing a face full of makeup and SPF. It will last you forever. Just a word on the pricing. Um, the last one is new to me and new to you because it's not, I'm not even sure if it's out yet. I got it this week and it was this product that made me think, actually, I must do cleansing oils because I've been loving using them and I haven't really talked about them that much. This is Demamiel Pure Calm Cleansing Dew. It looks like this. Now you can use this to remove makeup. I wouldn't personally because oh, when I just have to take a moment, because we're going to the church of skincare. When I use this product, it stops me in my tracks. It's almost a biblical experience, people. I love 
All my cleansing oils, all the ones that are here, I will use regularly, I will keep topped up. This Demamiel Pure Calm Cleansing Dew is a divine, divine experience on the skin. I don't even know what else to tell you. I mean, yes, I'll put information below and when it's released and where you can buy it. It's, okay, so they say, okay, this is they say. This is they say? Not a sentence I think you'll find. See, I've got, I've got all of, oh. Free your skin to breathe again. Daily ritual, use morning and evening, place one to two pumps in the palm, breathe in the aroma, which you will. Oh, will you breathe in this aroma? Oh, Lord, they should put, if they put that smell in one of those e-cigarette things, I'd contemplate it. But you get what I'm saying. Um, da -da -da -da. Uh, so, this is the way I use it. They say you can rinse it into a delicate milk, it emulsifies. No, not for me. I put this on my face, it makes me instantaneously slow down and do a slow sort of cleansing massage and then I take it off with a warm flannel. I do not rinse it off. I don't like the feel of rinsing off. I don't like it when they emulsify. However, I know that a lot of you have issues with flannels. Either you have really bad sensitivity or that you find them really irritating. Totally cool, totally your cool. You can emulsify this. So this one, this one, and this one emulsify. So those three, the nude, <laughs> it's not even facing the front. The nude, the alpha, and the demamiel emulsify. I don't emulsify them, but they will emulsify. Emulsify. This one, this one, and this one, not so much in my experience, but that's just my experience. Um, okay, I think I covered everything, but I just want you to know that in the 20 minutes or so it's taken me to film this clip, six, six people have knocked at the front door, six. Two deliveries for the neighbours, my son. I, I mean, it's I've, no one all day, no one. I think, oh, good timing. Had my hair did, film set up, press record, beep, buzz, delivery, can you sign for this? <laughs> um, if you have any questions about these cleansing oils, which I'm sure you will because it's all over the place as far as I can see, who knows, maybe, I'll maybe, t maybe I will be able to edit it to look a little cohesive. Um, please ask me in the comments below and I will respond to you as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching. Next up is retinols while I'm in a sassy mood.